Not a fan of Spam? Tonight's recipe may change your mind. Get ready to sink your teeth into some Spam Musubi. Ed Chun from Sunrise Cafe shows us how to make it. Okay, I'm a little nervous. It's time for Spam. Spam, yes. You know, being a Hawaiian Island restaurant, who I've had spam. spam. I've had it. Um, I was not a fan of it when I had it, but I have had spam right, when I was well, younger. We're gonna get to some spam here. I think you'll you'll like it today. Okay. Um, so, spam. Get over the the the, the initial. Okay. I'm trying it. I'm trying. It's we're tough. Gonna, we're gonna get this. First of all, you gotta cook the spam. Oh boy. So we're gonna cut off a nice couple nice slices. Okay. And when you make spam mousse to bees, and that's what we're doing today, is we're making spam mousse to bees. And if you go to Hawaii, they, they sell them at all the, mm -hmm. almost at everywhere you go, they sell okay. them. And they're basically, uh, they're basically um, spam sushi. Oh, that's okay. What it is. Yeah. So we're gonna make you some spam sushi real quick. So we'll take this extra piece of spam and put it away for there for now. All right. Okay. Leftover rice. It's nice to be use have some warm rice actually. So if you got a little rice, warm rice, get some rice out. I always like to use sesame seed oil. Okay. Maybe sesame seed oil. And a little bit of sugar, okay, maybe a little bit more. And a little bit of kosher salt, okay. Kind of mix this up, and the rice kind of serves dual purpose. Um, we actually have it, I mean, I mean the, the, soy, the sesame, see sesame seed oil, that kind of gives a nice little nutty flavor, but mm -hmm. it also makes it so it doesn't stick to everything either. Oh, that's good. So, because now, now this should be hot, so there we go. We got a little sizzle going now. Most people don't have one of these handy no. spam musubi spam musi presses. You can actually find them in a lot of Asian markets. Oh. Uh, go to the bigger ones in Portland or something, you might be able to find one. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if our local one has, but otherwise, this can is almost shaped the exact same shape. So You, you can, can use you, your spam you can, can. You, you can make a spam can for, for a makeshift press if you needed to, but otherwise, just take a cookie sheet okay. and press out your rice into, into a nice sheet, and then you can make the same effect okay. at home. So, But uh, you put your rice in here. So neat little device, you just kind of push the rice down. Okay. And then uh, you always work in, I always make three at a time. And people all ask me why, and I'll show you in a second. So we're gonna make three. Yeah, there you go. So, so we end up with three about same size, basically blocks of rice. Okay. If you look at the seaweed, if you kind of, a lot of it comes pre-scored, but that's not enough seaweed. So you take this. And then you have three pieces of seaweed. Interesting. And that's why we do the... Alrighty, now... There's a method to your madness. There is. You take it off there, lay it right on top there. You can put your favorite uh, sauce on there if you want. Uh, we recommend the sauce we get at the restaurant, that we use at the restaurant, and what we can serve with that. And then you just kind of roll this up. And, uh, and usually take a piece of saran wrap. Right. And then you wrap it in saran wrap of some sort, and then uh, or plastic wrap, and it'll stay nice and uh, together. Get nice, let the seaweed kind of stick to it, and you can just put it on a plate like that. And then, here and you this are. is the sp spam musubi. That's M U S U B I. All right. So tell me, this is this is kind of a traditional it's, thing in Hawaii. In Hawaii, yeah, it's like it's like 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 a PB and J in the mainland. Mm -hmm. This is spam musubi in Hawaii. Mmm, that's really good. I told you it's good. I'm a believer in the spam. If you uh, like to see this episode again, you can head to gtvl.com. But if you like what you've seen, you can head to Sunrise Cafe, and Ed will make this for you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Trish.